Welcome back to the Roadshow this morning in the buzz. Chelsea Clinton and her longtime boyfriend, Mark Mazvinsky, are now married. And even with swarms of media and onlookers bu buzzing around Rhinebeck, New yeah. York, that estate there where their ceremony was held, they managed to keep their wedding ultra private. Now, these are the first and so far the only pictures of the couple. I have to say, she looks We stunning. are the only ones that have That's it. Right. The Roadshow, first to get them. That's right. Uh, the family released these themselves. In a statement, the parents of the bride said, quote, watched with great pride and overwhelming emotion as the couple wed and they could not have asked for a more perfect day. Now, rumors had circulated the wedding was going to be star-studded, but former Secretary of State Madeleine Albright, dress designer Vera Wang, and Ted Danson were the only celebs spotted in the town and at the ceremony. The wedding was top secret, so top secret, in fact, that the FAA issued a no-fly zone over the sprawling Astor Court's estate. The Clintons did try to make good with the locals who were inconvenienced by the massive security in town. I thought this was really cool. What they did, they went around, they gave a bottle of wine to every neighbor from a local vineyard with a little note to it. Um, and it was an idea that allegedly came from wedding planner Brian Raffinelli, who's actually yeah. originally from Rhode Island, and now he's based out of Boston. A couple of things that I thought were really interesting about this. First of all, there were, there were rumors that it wasn't going to be in Rhinebeck at all. It was actually going to be held on Martha's Vineyard, and that the yeah, whole thing was a ruse, was, which I thought was neat. And then the other thing, <laughs> too, was that uh, what I really liked about this, or actually, this was more even more surprising, President Obama wasn't invited. Well, I think he said... he. He didn't want to be a distraction. Well, he said that. Maybe he wasn't invited, but, but he's Hillary's boss, so yeah. I know this you might think. be a job security. And it, you know, a sitting president, <laughs> and a, you know. But you got to remember too that Hillary lost out in the nomination process to yeah, that's Barack true. Obama, so maybe she's still got some. I like a Ted Dance made feelings. an appearance. Yes, that's my yes. favorite. <laughs> well, and Mary, Norm and Mary Steen, there too. Steenburg, is it Steenburgen? Mary Steenburgen's wife. His wife. Yeah. yeah, she was there as well. So I mean, I. I don't understand what the big deal is, honestly. The, he was president two presidents ago. I, you know, I mean, it's. I know it's a president's daughter, not a sitting president's daughter. I mean, he's not exactly Bill isn't exactly the the uh, poster boy for solid marriages. Right. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I don't know. There's just Actually, a lot, a lot out there. Are, are, is he is he still married to Hillary? Uh, yes. Yeah, yes. Of still course, married. Okay. Of course. But I think, but I do understand what you're saying. You know, there have been rumors that he that he is philandering continues. I mean, I read the book Game Change, where that was a serious liability in Hillary's campaign yeah, process. Yeah. They were trying to contain him and that sort of thing. So, you, you know, you're right. But I, I do think what, what what's beautiful about it is that this was a family that was in the White House, an American, yeah. an iconic American family. So many people. Sorry to interrupt. So many people. Are, from my generation, feel like we grew up with Chelsea. She's close in age to yeah, me. Yeah, actually, that was, you're right. You know, That's a I good mean, point. I remember George Bush Senior and, and Reagan and whatnot. But you know, the Clintons kind of felt like a. That's mm -hmm. when I was old enough to kind of figure out politics and whatnot. And, you know, I felt like I kind of grew up with Chelsea, and now she's all grown I, I, And I have to say, again, I think she looks stunning. I love the veil. I love the dress. I love the makeup, everything. Well, it's we, like Willie, by the way, lost 15 pounds. If you have, good. He's, yeah, been, he, been, he's he been busy. Actually, he's been yeah. busy. He's a busy guy. He's <laughs> traveling around all over the place. You know, I mean, again, people can do what they want with their own money, but... The thing that drove me crazy was for the last week, all I heard about was how much the flowers cost yeah. and how much they had to pay for security in the band, and it's going to be a three to five million dollar wedding, and blah blah blah. Yeah. You know, when there's so many people in this world, and this is a world event. I mean, let's mm -hmm. be honest, this isn't just a local deal here. You know, so many people are struggling right now. I just, I just shoved it down our throats all week hearing about how much this thing was going to cost. I think um, Patrick's a little nervous because he has a daughter, <laughs> and he's seeing this. <laughs> <laughs> a tent in the backyard yeah. with my next door neighbor will be DJing. Yeah. I'll have a keg of are beer. Are they going to Art and, and Cindy? And a, and Everybody can jump in our party. Cindy's in Cindy's pool. Party in Cindy's pool. We'll have the party there. I'm sure they're, they're great hosts. They have great parties in the neighborhood all yeah. the time. I Former think we'll host, host Ben Hague will be emceeing these. Yes, that's, right. that's, that's right. right. And Lily's going to sing. That's right. You know. And Celine Dion will make an appearance. Uh, Mel, I want to throw it over to you because uh, I thought she just looked stunning. What did you think? She did. I mean, I saw some of the pictures and I think she just looked absolutely breathtaking. And I tell you, I think they did a pretty good job at keeping it under wraps. I mean, you heard some details, but not too many. So I really I think they did a great job. But let's head on over to the live blog right now on foxprovidence.com and see what some of our blogger friends have to say this morning. Joseph Butera says, I think the Clintons could have done a better job keeping this wedding under wraps. Maybe, like, not hear about the wedding at all. And in case you're just joining us this morning, I posted today's buzz poll question on our homepage on foxprovidence.com. You'll find it on the right-hand side of the page right under the live blog. And today we're asking, are you surprised that the details of Chelsea's weddings wedding was kept under wraps and your choices are a yes I expected the details to be leaked 
or B, no, great security measures were taken. And as always, our friends on Facebook this morning are weighing in. Jennifer says Chelsea was always a quiet young lady and probably had the right professional people that she was working with to keep a lot of it private. And Diana says all I have heard about this weekend was her wedding. That doesn't seem too private to me. So don't go anywhere. I'll be back at the end of the show with your web poll results.